Back everybody, uh, one of the best ever, of course, to come from East Texas, the great Adrian Peterson, last year's NFL MVP. How many guys that are as big time as him come back to their hometown? Adrian Peterson did tonight, had his jersey number 28 retired tonight. What a special moment. And you know, you know that pumped up this uh, Palestine Wildcat team. We'll hear from Adrian coming up early on. G. Clark, Sheldon Watson. It's hanging in the air. I swear he caught it. Big play right there. Uh, final score in this one, 32 to nothing, Palestine. So sorry about the video freezing up there. We did get to see Adrian Peterson getting that jersey retired. Let's hear from him on this special night down in his hometown as a Palestine Wildcat. The best fan base in the world, you know, home. Because this is where it started. I have so many people here that, that know my story, that have been rooting for me since day one, you know, and they're always keeping the faith in me. It, it, it feels good when I come back home and hear people say how they're keeping me in their prayers and I know that's what gets me by you know so um, it feels good to, to hear the support they gave. Wow wow I can't believe the NFL MVP was in East Texas tonight but he is a great man and congratulations. All right last week heartbreak city for the Carthage Eagles they lost the White House lost their number one ranking. I had a feeling they were going to take it out on the Rusk Eagles tonight, and that's exactly what happened. 44-7, to your final in that one. Carthage is not going away, folks. They bounce back with the best of them. 3A scoreboard looks like that. Center uh, balls to Corrigan Camden, 35-13. to In the fourth quarter, Ford leading Bonham, 15-12. to Westwood and Grossbeck. Grossbeck victorious, 30-13. to Princeton over Wills Point, 46-14. to As I mentioned, light schedule this week, so not a lot of games going on in Class 3A or 4A. All right. In Class 2A, so far, so good for the Tatum Eagles. 4-0 start for Coach Andy Evans. The ranked sixth in the state. And back at beautiful Eagle Stadium tonight, taking on the Die Ball Lumberjacks. And, you know, Tatum's been kind of floating under the radar, but they're fixing to get some uh, big love because J.D. Taylor is doing a heck of a job at quarterback. Big run right there. Then he's going to hand off to his other tailback, Demetrius Hill, bouncing it out and getting it in for the score. That would make it 7-0. This time, Haler, Taylor's going to hand off to Keyshawn Smith. And look at that speed. You never have to worry about speed down at Tatum. They always seem to have it. And here's J.D. Taylor showing off the arm. Deep pass to Martin Williams. Haul it in, young man. What a play. That was a big touchdown, and Demetrius Hill would add one more, and no problem for the Eagles tonight as they take care of die ball in this one, 48 to snap. New Boston and Dangerfield. Boy, this is a showdown if there ever was one. 19 to 8. Here we go. Danger Dangerfield trying to get back on uh, key here as Kiarius Alexander, the ball is snapped, passes several yards to Denzel Mims right there. What a play. And then we got some crazy action right here as uh, the, uh, I believe this, yeah, this is yeah, New Boston trying to get it going here. Time winding down, can't make the grab. So here we go, resetting with uh, New Boston now with the football. They are dropping back to play. Alexander's going to spot Keaton Key, and Key gets the touchdown. Big play for the Lions of New Boston. And then the Tigers will get a field goal to make it 19-16. That was your lead at the half. Lots of athletes on this field. Final score in this one. Who would come out on top? Upset City, folks, as Dangerfield beats New Boston 40 to 23. Wow. All right. U Springs taking on, of course, New Diana tonight. Here we go. Chad McKinney hands it off to Michael Martinez. And Michael, uh uh, getting get far at all. Stuffed by that uh, off, uh, defensive line. This time, Martinez makes it up as he dashes through for the score. Big time play right there. They would go for the two-point conversion. Mr. Martinez would and get it. That would make it a two-point possession game. Next time, Joby Ainsworth is going to get several yards to Brandon Wesley. There's your two-point conversion right there for Hugh Springs. Eight to nothing. Here is Joby Ainsworth of New Diana. Going to uh, give it up to his man, Brandon Wesley. Throws it up in there. That was good for 34 yards. Showing some yak ability. Yards after the catch. But... They would try that play again, and guess what happens? Fumble Ruski right here. U Springs get the ball back, and your final score is all going to be Mustangs tonight, winning 46 to 14 is your final score in that one. U Springs in Hawkins tonight. I'll tell you what, the Hawks have had a great start to the season, but Garrison pretty stout. Early on in this one, Andrew Russell to Chris Keister. 
Feaster right here, that's a good for a 10-yard run. Garrison really a control, ground, uh, grinded out type of football team. They love to run it as Russell's going to pitch to Cameron Rodz Rodriguez right here. Power run to the outside. Just working the clock, working the yards, chewing up that turf. That's what they do in Bulldog country. And then Russell, who was handing it off the whole time, says, I'm going to keep it myself for the quarterback keeper and the touchdown. 27 to nothing. I really thought Hawkins was going to make this a pretty good game. Did not turn out that way as Garrison gets it done. 34 to nothing in that one. All right, let's move on to some scoreboards from uh, tonight. Frankston at Union Grove. 39 to 7. Frankston looking good on the road in that one. Scotty 2A scoreboard. Let's do it real quick. Cooper 75 to nothing tonight. Uh, of course, Arp and West Grus will play tomorrow at Longview. Grand Saline and Quitman. Quitman getting it done tonight over Grand Saline. 41 to nothing. Eustace falls to Malakoff. 54 to nothing. Malakoff on fire this season. Paul Pewitt and Wascom. 40-34 is your final with Wascom winning. Elysian Fields 35 to 7 over Orr City. Two more for you. Edgewood 48 to 6 over Rivercrest and Alba Golden 51 to 29. Your final score of a Parish Chisholm. All right, more highlights on the way. Also, don't forget about that. Um, Twitter page, anytime you want. Go tweet us at ET Final Score. That's the best way to keep up with it. There it is. Everybody stay tuned. More highlights coming up. Welcome back, everybody. Time to check in on the private schools. Coach Kobe Gibson and TK Gorman at home tonight against the pretty doggone good Prince of Peace team out of Carrollton to McCallum Stadium. We go for the highlights of this one. Kristen Strait, uh, Kristen Saint. He's been a saint all year on the football field because he just gets the job done. Great pass to Colin Parks, who hauls it in, just misses that touchdown. That's okay because Taylor Hurst comes right back and punches it in for the touchdown. Crusaders up 31 to nothing. I'm loving the rebirth of TJ, TK Gorman football being so good. Uh, now check out this Prince of Peace play. Jackson Atkin from Pat Core. Pretty good play right there. They get the two-point conversion, but Kristen Saint says, no, we're going to keep on running that football as he would keep it himself. He's so good at directing the offense. Uh, got a little Peyton Manning messing everybody up on the defense, and then look at that. Nice job running left, right, going for the score. Just gets inside the 15-yard line, but that's okay because Colin Park says, hey, Tristan, you can do all that hard work. I'm just going to run it in without getting touched. Final score in this one. Nice, 45-14. Way to go, TK Gorman. Other tap scores from tonight. Brook Hill and Grace on the road. Brook Hill at Dallas Shelton in this one. Your score in this one is... 42 to nothing, Brook Hill. That's what I'm reading. And then I see Grace winning. Yeah, there we go. 42 to nothing, Brook Hill victorious. Grace up 49 to 45. All right, with more back to Gorman here. More on uh, uh, Gorman really looking good tonight. Travis Yosting taking a little bit of a break from JT football tonight, but he'll be doing that next Friday. Travis, uh, very impressive by the Crusaders tonight, correct? That's right, and it was all about their defense forcing uh, time to take away. Uh, at the beginning of the game, Martin Guzman, Return to fumble recovery, 33 yards for touchdown, and uh, Christian Watkins had an interception in the end zone to uh, help keep his feet off the board early, and uh, it was the defense that kind of drove this victory. Uh, Travis, where does uh, and I love Coach Gibson, the, the enthusiasm he brings to the program, the kids have bought into it. Where, where do the, what do they want to accomplish this season? Really, they're, they're wanting to get into the playoffs. They uh, uh, kind of struggled a little bit in Kobe's first year, but I think uh, with a, it's kind of wide open in the district this year. I think they, uh, they're shooting for the playoffs and you know maybe do a little damage in the playoffs. All right, Mr. Uh, Travis Yostin, get back to work on those JT lines next Friday. We'll be talking to you then, okay, man? All right, thanks. All right, let's move on. Final stop of the night, Mount Enterprise. We were down in Nacogdoches, so we decided to stop in on the Wildcats. But early on, the Timpson Bears have Chandler Berge, and Chandler almost bites the dust, but he keeps it for a nice 10-yard gain after that. No score. And then check out Mount Enterprise's Justin Johnson. Wow, brushing it out to the left side. And then, I love this move, tippy toe and cuts it back to the right for an extra 20 yards. That would lead to the quarterback. Josh Lee done said, hey, man, I got a score here. I, I know you did all the work right there, guys, but uh, I'm going to take it in. And we have the lead early. Way to go, Mount Enterprise. But Chandler Berge, now this little girl, she learns the right way. She could shake the bottle of rocks right there. Berge's going to find Devontae Thompson and just poor defensive effort right here. He's just making guys miss left and right. Ends up going for about 40 yards right there. And then Berge's going to find Shakur Johnson on the right side of the little screen pass. And, 
Boy, that guy got some burst. That would make it 7-7. Seven to seven. I tell you, this Chandler Berg, you guys are a lot of fun to watch. He was uh, running all over Mount Enterprise left and right. Final score, as we were glad to have the Timpson Wildcats on, or Timpson and Mount Enterprise Wildcats on, and Mount Enterprise, able. Come from behind and get the win. Congratulations. Couple of 1A scores for you. Carlisle, 45-0 over Overton. Tenna Hall, 21-15 over San Augustine. Uh, Leon and Love Lady, it's 14-6. Leon, Celeste falls to Detroit, 27-20. And some other private school action. Leverage Chapel over Kings Academy, 33-8. All Saints falls to Garland Christian, 48-27. And those are your smaller scores from this evening. Final break right now, our play of the night is up next, and we'll update you on either scores. They were big time tonight if we have time, but don't go anywhere. All right, we had plays of the night all over East Texas, and I, you just got to give it to the whole Nacogdoches Dragon team as they were just outstanding tonight. Hunter McClellan, long tap, passes to Reed Watson, had another big one right there, and uh, they just, uh, Mr. Giddens for the touchdown. There is Coach Reyes. Congratulations. Play of the night and team of the night. Nacogdoches wins it big. Recapping tonight, if we can get some of these up, I'll, uh, I'll kind of ad lib here. Robert E. Lee, of course, trying to get a win tonight over North Mesquite, and they fall 31-22. to That was a game they really needed to win. And then, of course, a big win tonight for Kilgore and Gilmer. Those two look like they are on a collision course to win the District of Doom. Gilmer all over Chapel Hill tonight. Kilgore all over Bullard. And, of course, there's that 49-7 uh, uh, big win for Kilgore right there. But uh, next week, full slam of games and don't forget we'll replay that uh, league game coming up right now 11 30 right here on KCEB we'll be back for week six on Friday everybody take care etfinalscore.com